Welcome to the project demonstration of battery management system with IoT ThinkSpeak Cloud Platform. So here we are going to monitor the battery pack 1 and battery pack 2 voltages, battery pack 3. Three battery pack voltages continuously monitored by the PIC microcontroller. So we are using PIC 16F73 microcontroller which continuously monitor the voltages along with the battery pack inside the temperature also. And whenever the temperature crosses the threshold value then automatically the cooling fan will switch it on. So the whole setup will be placed inside the battery pack system. And also whenever the battery pack voltage less than the threshold value means if the battery voltage, battery pack voltage is this battery pack 1 voltage is less than the 10 volts then the system will switch on this electromagnetic relay to charge it continuously and then when the threshold value reaches means maximum voltage reaches then automatically it will isolate the power supply to the respective battery pack like the same operation will be applied for the remaining battery packs coming to this battery pack it has a 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries are in series so we will get DC of 12 volts 1 amp output so totally 3 systems are connected in parallel directly and the next we are using the voltage sensors of 10 is to 1 potential divider ratio 1 2 and 3 10 is to 1 voltage potential divider ratio means uh, our microcontroller can't measure the voltage which is greater than the 5 volts in order to make the input voltage less than that threshold value then we are going to dividing that in 10 is to 1 ratio means if the input is 10 volts the output of this sensor is 1 volt and inside microcontroller we programmed by multiplying that input voltage with 10 as the ratio is 10 is to 1 same thing if you are getting uh, 1.2 volts at the microcontroller section end which is which is the output of this voltage sensor then the input is 12 volts like that the combination uh, programming will be done so we are using three relays to charge the three battery packs and three voltage sensors to measure the three voltage of this battery pack and uh, LCD display continuously show the status like uh, voltage of the batteries as well as SOC SOH in state of charging and state of health state of charging nothing but when the battery is charging our microcontroller will check the if the battery is charging in normal way or slow charging so that will represent the SOC and the state of health nothing but when we are utilizing, uh, utilizing the battery how the battery is discharging that is coming under the SOH so totally six parameters continuously monitoring on the LCD and next uh, same data will be uploaded to the ThinkSpeak cloud platform using the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. So just log into the ThinkSpeak cloud platform and go to the channel and my channels. So BMS click on the channel. So there we can see the our data. So we can see in the desktop site. Right. So now totally uh, six parameters like battery pack one, two, three and the temperature and SOC and SOH so these are the our old data parameters which we have got, uh, got this while testing and coming to the power flow 230 volts AC input to this transformer which will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts of AC and that will be converted into 12 volts DC and 5 volt DC so this one is a 12 volts DC input to the battery packs through this relays and this is the 5 volts DC output after this regulation of 5 volt 7805 we will get 5 volt the 5 volt is the operating voltage of our microcontroller 12 volts is the charging voltage for the battery packs so on this charging circuit we can see the diodes which will act as a rectifier and a capacitor which will act as a filter and regulator which will regulate the 12 volts DC to 5 volts DC and this is the buzzer board along with a cooling fan so whenever the temperature crosses these two will get switched on when it is normal it will be off so now coming to the uh, data erasing we can download this data also for download the data data import exports and uh, download the data open that so it will open in excel sheet format and there we can see the date and time and how many samples still now collected battery pack 1 voltage 2 voltage 3 voltage and temperature and SOC SOH values continuously monitored here and after you download the data now go to channel settings in that you can clear the channel see while doing take care don't delete channel only clear channel right okay and successfully clear channel was done now to see the live data go to private view so the old data got erased we have downloaded that also now before on the kit the very first step is we need to on the hotspot in your phone go to hotspot settings and uh, change the hotspot name to 5468 without any space without any capital letter 
and password should be one two three four five six seven eight nine. And uh, AP band should be if it is asked for AP band that should be two point four gigahertz. After these three settings successfully done, check twice before on that on the hotspot along with data. Now stay on this thing speak screen. Now on the power supply to the kit. Initially just the fan and the buzzer will on and off two times just for initialization and then after continuously the system monitor the voltages levels. So let us isolate the power supply to the voltage sensor. When we remove this connection, controller won't get the voltage, nothing but zero voltage. So that is less than the threshold value of low voltage. Then automatically the respective relay will get switched on. Right. So now the system charging the battery pack on voltage as the uh, we are getting the low voltage. And when it's again charged and when it's sufficient voltage, then automatically we can see the SOC SVH also. Right, now it really comes down to normal again. Let us isolate the battery pack two, and battery pack three. And next, if the temperature is above the threshold value, this is the temperature sensor we are using, continuously monitoring of. Temperature inside the battery pack. When it crosses the 43 degrees centigrade, we set the limit of 43 degrees centigrade, then automatically the cooling fan gets switched on. And when it is coming to the normal, again the fan will be off. So these are the values we have getting, we are testing. So when we touch on this dot, we can see the voltage of the respective battery pack 2 and the date and time also. So it is keep on uploading the data uh, till we switch off the kits and the of the data also. We need to provide the main thing hotspot and data then the system continuously upload the details to the things we call platform. We can access this particular data from anywhere in the world. So the finally let us uh, check the connections. So these older sensors A0, A1, A2, temperature sensor A3 and the fan at C4 and the LCD at pin number B2 to B7 and B0, B1 for this. ESP8266 Wi-Fi module.